I'm at Universal Studios Hollywood today to check up on the park and City Walk. So how about you and I dive right in? Welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. If you're new here and you love theme park content just as much as I do, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you'll stay up to date on when I post new videos. But before we head in the theme park, let's go over some stuff here at City Walk because there's a lot going on here and the next year we'll be welcoming an all new restaurant. So let's go over that right now. So here at City Walk, one of the new items on the list is, of course, the new Abercrombie Kids store going in, and it's gonna be right next to It's Sugar. I also talked to one of the managers inside of Abercrombie & Fitch, and they did say that this store will be connected to the adult store. So once it's finished uh, in November, it'll just be one big giant retail space. So if you're a fan of Abercrombie & Fitch, uh, they will now have a kids store. And also, just right across from Antojitos, there'll be a new place to eat and it's going to be replacing Tony Roma's and I'm assuming Howl at the Moon and that's the NBC Sports Grill and Brew. Uh, it's located in Orlando, Florida right now but they're going to bring that location here as well uh, in the ever-changing uh, Hollywood City Walk space. It seems like a lot of the Orlando uh, eateries and specialty food places are just coming over here because I mean why not? A lot of these places are old and I'm sure a lot of their leases are gonna be coming up. So it does make sense to bring that over here. But because Howl at the Moon is uh, gonna be moving and uh, Tony Roma's I'm sure uh, has a lease ending, the NBC Sports Grill and Brew will be right here. Alrighty, we made it in. You can see that the park is pretty dead today. So again, during the week, Monday through Thursday is such a great time to head to Universal Studios Hollywood. Here in the front of the park, Waterworld is under a refurbishment until sometime around mid-November. So do keep that in mind if you are traveling here, that Waterworld will be down if you're coming to the park in the next couple weeks. All right, around the corner towards Baker Street, you can see that they have painted the brickwork here, so it's not gonna be gray. For a while there, I thought it was just gonna be gray, but we got like a nice orangish red uh, on the brickwork there. That looks really nice. I still wonder why they didn't finish like the faux brick all the way down a little bit farther, so that way you couldn't see it as you're walking down Baker Street. Uh, so interesting decision for sure, but it looks fantastic in person. You can also see over here that they're getting ready for the holidays. We have all the Christmas lights up on the Cinnabon building here. Over here on uh, French Street, if you guys want to know a little fun fact about our abominable snowman friend, his eyes are actually made out of spoons, plastic spoons. Around the corner towards the Despicable Me attraction, you can see that the scrims are still up over here, but the scrims on the side here are down. So let me see if I can get a better view of that. You can still access the restrooms over here and of course the bar. And of course you can still access uh, Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem. Alrighty, here's a current look at the project happening downstairs, which is uh, supposed to be the Nintendo area of the park, which would be awesome. You can see the building over here is growing in size ever so slightly. But right now it looks like they're putting a lot of the sheeting on the roof here. You can see all that metal sheeting going along the back too. But the building is getting slightly taller. You can see they've added this structure over here. I don't know how tall it's gonna be though, but right now it looks like it's to be the same height as the Transformers building. So they might go slightly taller, but again, we're not really sure. Panning this way, we can see this particular attraction's uh, building still being constructed. And you see how deep the foundation goes there too. So uh, whatever this is, definitely gonna be some underground components to it. Don't know if that's gonna be part of the ride or if that's gonna be for maintenance or electrical. Uh, but yeah, really cool to watch that. So here in the plaza, once Halloween Horror Nights is done for the season, which by the way, there's only nine more days left. Can you believe that? That's how fast the season has come and gone. But uh, then Grinchmas moves in. So that starts the 28th and goes through December 29th, every single day. And uh, along with the other holiday offerings here at Universal Studios Hollywood, but that'll be really cool to see Grinchmas make a comeback here in the plaza. Working our way down to the lower lot, I just wanted to stop and take a look at the gorgeous view today. It's really clear outside and not a cloud in sight. It's really, really pretty today. All right, and then here's another shot of the Nintendo project. You can see just again the scope and scale of this whole entire show building over here. See there's the construction workers right there. Look at how tiny they are compared to the structural steel around them. 
I mean, it's just a really big show building for whatever attraction that's going to be. Probably going to be the Nintendo, the Mario Kart attraction. But uh, yeah, still no word on when Nintendo is officially coming to Universal Studios Hollywood. We know it's coming, but we just don't know when. And uh, hopefully it's soon. Hopefully it's sometime in 2021 and not 2022, because this is probably going to be one of the, like, the next biggest, like most anticipated lands coming to a theme park. I mean, their Star Wars was one, but this is probably a close second because Nintendo is just such a huge property. You know, and I wonder if over time they're going to go ahead and start like removing these sound stages right here and moving them elsewhere to the back lot because there's definitely more room to build more efficient multi-purpose sound stages because these ones are the older ones. And I wonder if they're going to expand the theme park out in this direction. It would make sense. I know for sure they're probably going to expand the theme park out that way as well. But it's going to be fun to watch over the next, you know, 10 years or so just to see how this lower lot changes and how much uh, stays and how much goes. Here's an even closer look at this new show building going in. You see there's the new section up there. It's just so huge. And here's another look from this side of the show building. And with that, I think it's gonna do it for today. So yeah, I mean, come to Universal Studios during the week, because as you can see, I mean, even on my way out right now, there's not too many people here at all. So if you wanna have a great time, come Monday through uh, Thursday, because there's just not that many people here at all, and you'll have a blast. You'll be able to go on everything. All right, before I close it out, I just wanted to get one more shot of the side of the Secret Life of Pets building. And uh, I gotta say, just from what I could see right now, it looks really pretty. Like the facade work is really well done and I cannot wait for them to start taking down the scaffolding and whatnot. Uh, most of the scrims on this side, I'm sure they took down a little bit early just because it, it has been windy and they might have not been uh, too secure just because they might be taking it down soon. But yeah, it's nice to see the finished product. It looks gorgeous in person. So uh, again, I wish they would have brought it over over here a little bit more, but it's just me nitpicking. It's not that big of a deal, but uh, yeah, I love it. And they've also closed all this up too. Like it's still uh, before they had a lot of open areas, but now it's all polished and clean and ready to go. They have the lights on the outside here. So we know the electrical is working, but yeah, it looks fantastic. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you love universal content and just theme park content in general, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you'll stay up to date on every time I post new videos. Yeah, it was a great day at Universal Studios. Again, Monday through Thursday is such a perfect time to come here. And it was a beautiful day. And I hope you had a beautiful day. And other than that, I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.